Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at how to perform a hypothesis test for population proportion in IBM SPSS 26. A couple of things about hypothesis test for proportion in SPSS. First, SPSS requires that the variable uh, to be binomial variable and to be entered as quantitative variable and for that you can see that here for more for example I have only zeros or ones because SPSS perform only a binomial hypothesis test for proportion so I enter the value zeros or ones true or false probability of success probability of failure or P and Q as we know for proportion probability of the hypothesis test that we're looking for and one minus the probability of that. Now there is a way, and I will show you in a minute, to perform proportion test where the values are not zeros and one, but we have to set up the cut point for uh, SPSS to decide on the values less than that or equal to the cut point are considered in one group, let's say success, and other values above that point are the failure. Okay, so to do that, let's start with the test. We're going to go to analyze, and then we're going to go to non parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and we're going to choose binomial. So again, non-parametric test, legacy dialogues, binomial. And you can see 0, 1 as the icon. We're going to click on that, and we're just going to add the variable that we're doing the hypothesis test on. And this is the variable that has zeros and ones. And here I'm going to use the get from data because I already put them 0 and 1. I don't want to use a cut point. Let's assume the hypothesis test is 30% or P0 as we call it is 30% you can check the options here as we did with other tests such as the chi-square test and the ANOVA test and if you want the descriptive quartiles etc right now we're just interested in the hypothesis test so that's it if we click OK you're gonna see the output it give us how many are in each group and the zero we have 96 154 and the one total to 50 observed proportion 40 percent 60 percent the test proportion point 30 that we entered and this is the exact significant one tail test result okay so just keep in mind that with the other tests that we do in SPSS it gives us the two tail significant value here it gives us only the one tailed now let's go back to the test and i'm going to do the test on the values here and i'm going to use the cut point to show you the difference between them so we're going to go again to non-parametric test legacy dialogue binomial i'm going to remove the more and i'm going to add this value here. So we have here values ranges from 20s to 130s, 140s, whatever the values are. You can say the cut point what you want. So I'm just going to use 60 as a cut point. So now everything 60 or less will be considered in one group, the success group. More than 60 will be considered the failure. I'm going to keep the same test proportion and here also you can see that we get kind of the same thing it happens 96 less than or equal 60 154 greater than 60 that's why we have the same result over here but if I use different cut point these values will definitely change so let's try to do different cut point and you will see that it's going to be different results so I'm going to add this again test proportion let's keep it at 0.30 and let's 
look at let's say 70 as the cut point and here we go you see that the numbers jumped for the group one from 96 to 138 one the other one dropped the percentage is changed and you see that the significant is different test so again it depends on what you want as the cut point it depends on the problem itself you can either assign values to them zero or one to be binary or you can use the cut point to do the hypothesis test for proportion thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for more videos on how to do statistical analysis using SPSS and Microsoft Excel as well